uh, physical, defended really well, um, executed on both ends of the floor. Uh, you know, we struggled from the you know from the beginning of the game with uh, you know both Bailey and Cheney getting you know both had two fouls within the first five minutes. Um, you know, fouling while we've been defending has been an issue for us. It continued to be tonight. Um, you know, I thought that you know their point guard. I thought he was phenomenal. He's a uh, very entertaining player to watch on tape. As we prepared for Tennessee, it's a great find for their coaching staff to to be able to find a point guard uh, who can come in and plays with great intelligence and and is a guy that can really knock down the three and and makes his foul shots and you know his composure for a freshman um, you know phenomenal. First, with Mason Jones, why did he not start tonight, and what do you think was causing him problems over the course of the night? Yeah, I thought they did a great job defending him. Um, you know, we didn't start him tonight to try to give us some pop off the bench. We haven't played very well to start games. We've been playing uphill. Um, we played uphill again. Uh, you know, last year, uh, he didn't start for the last eight games. Um, same reason I'm assuming that, that, that the prior coaching staff wanted to try to get some pop off the bench, but um, we're struggling on both, both ends of the floor right now for sure. Hey, Eric, you, you'd been competitive in every game this year, and this is the first one you haven't. What was the difference tonight? You know, I can't tell you because, you know, it's, it's, uh, I thought Tennessee played uh, with more energy and played harder and we didn't fight when uh, when things became difficult. I mean, you're not, you know, it's going to be really hard to win a win a college game when you have six assists. I mean, you're just not going to probably not going to play very well if you have six assists in a game. You also didn't play Mason the last twelve something. Is there something happening? Because the incident the other day on the bench. No, I mean he went one to ten, and. So we played other guys. What did you feel like Tennessee was able to do defensively to make life hard on, on Mason and everyone else? Well, I think, you know, I mean, they face guarded to start the game. They denied. Um, I mean, we were bobbling balls from the very beginning of the game. So, uh, you know, look, Coach Barnes is, is one of the best coaches in the country. And uh, he had his guys ready to play tonight. And they bounced back from, you know, from a loss, and, and uh, they played really good basketball, and we did not. I think you're 0-3 without Isaiah Joe, though those first two games were overtime losses. No, we beat, we beat oh, TCU, oh, sorry. so okay, okay. We're, we're probably 0-3 in conference, but okay. we did beat TCU without him. So what do you lose without him? How important a player is he for what you guys have for people who don't see him every day? Yeah, I mean, I, look, there's... Uh, there's injuries throughout college basketball, and Isaiah's a great player. Um, you know, we're just not deep even, even with him, and then when you take any of our guys away, you became a lot, you know, you become a lot less, you know, you just have, we have no depth. Um, but we miss him. He's, a, he's one of the best shooters in the country, and so if you take... Uh, a guy with some size because he's got good length and one of the best shooters in the country and you take him, you know, off your off your roster, um, you know, it's going to affect you. Last question, go ahead. Eric, I, I'm sure that it's kind of easy to sit there and say, hey, God, just got to stop fouling. You know, when you see, you know, 60, 70 plus free throws in, in a game, how difficult is that as a coach because you want your guys to keep playing, but obviously it's, it's tough when you give up that many free throws. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that it's uh, – it's nothing that, that just occurred tonight. I mean, uh, a lot of the guys that are following this year followed last year. I mean, we've gone back and looked at fouls per minute. And, um, you know, certain guys just have stuff in their DNA. Some guys are really good shooters. Some guys are really good rebounder per minute. Some guys are high foul guys. Um, you know, the only thing that I know to do is just to continue to try to work, you know, um, we don't have all of our stuff in, obviously, as a, as a new coach, new coaching staff. So we just got to 
try to get ready for our next game on Saturday. It's, it's uh, you know, it's all we can do.